Here's our tale of the tape between Omar Moreno and Anying Wong. Moreno much taller, and how about that reach edge, Joe? Four and a half inches. Now let's take a look at the professional experience. It's Moreno that has more professional experience, uh, but Wang has MMA fights as well, as well as a big amateur career. Ladies and gentlemen, this matchup of welterweights is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner, he's trained in Sanda and Muay Thai. And he brings with him to the glory ring a professional record of 10 wins with three losses, three of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands 5 feet 11 and 1 half inches, 1.82 meters. And he weighed in at 168 pounds, 76.3 kilos. He fights tonight out of Xi'an China. China. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing On Yi Wong. His opponent will fight from the white corner, a Muay Thai practitioner who comes in on a three fight win streak. His record stands at 25 victories, seven losses, one bout scored even, and nine career knockouts. At six feet, two and one half inches, 1.89 meters, he weighed in at 168 pounds, 76.3 kilos. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, here is Omar Marciano Moreno. And your referee in charge of this bout is John Axwood. You know the rules, break is break, stop is stop. Yes? Questions? Questions? Okay, step back. An Ying Wong and Omar Moreno, both men making their glory debut, trying to prove they should be here and be here to stay. Right. Moreno in the white gloves, Wong wearing black. Joe Moreno. A Muay Thai practitioner, trains at a Muay Thai gym or has most of his life, but then when he came here, he said, listen, I've got to learn the Dutch style if I want to make the transition to glory. Yeah, and it's going to be, the difference is going to be a little bit busier with the Dutch style. They're attacking the legs. Nice shots. Very solid inside low kicks. Moreno, a southpaw, so really going to utilize his left kick. We know the reach is four and a half inches longer. Not sure about the legs, but it's got to be very substantial. Yeah, and that, his left kick, which just went low. Right. But he's going to keep his distance, and he's going to keep throwing that left kick. Where Wong's going to have to get on the inside and use his boxing to try to set up his kicks. Straight punches there from Moreno. Wong told us, listen, I've watched enough tape to know how fast he is. He's faster than me, I'll give him that, but I've got a lot more power. And if I catch him clean, he's going down. There's a clean shot. Wong, who grew up in Mongolia, and his trainer told us, listen, these kids from Mongolia, they are wrestling the day they are born. In fact, once a year, oh, there's a head kick. And Moreno answers back. Once a year, there's a big festival. All the kids in the town wrestle in a giant, like, 100-kid thing. You wrestle one kid, he, you put him down, he's out, you move on until there's one kid left in the village. That's where he definitely learned his toughness from. Said sometimes parents will bring sheepskin or their chickens and bet on the kids wrestling. Talk about pressure. If your dad's bringing chickens, you better win. Nice straight right from Wong. I like the way he's mixing his right hand. First one went to the head, the second to the body. Especially being the shorter fighter, hitting the body, very good strategy. I was going to say, it's no secret Wong has to get inside, and he's had a little bit of success. Yeah, and he's finding success with his right kick as well. They said his left kick was one of his best kicks, but against the southpaw, he's going to have to use his right kick. Almost got caught in the head with a knee that was meant to be a kick. Moreno slowed down that left kick. Or Wong's just doing a better job at staying away from it. Moreno using the left straight now. When you were fighting, Joe, did, did you like fighting tall guys? Well, There's a left hand that wobbles Moreno a little bit. Yeah, that seemed to hurt Moreno. 
But yeah, in my career, I always seem to fight taller guys, but I didn't mind because I had my low kicks, which is another good strategy, being the shorter fighter. So a very competitive round one here between En Ying Wong and Omar Moreno. And now, Joe, let's get to know these fighters a little bit better. And we start with the American. Moreno, only 21 years old, and he has a lot of experience living and training elsewhere. Spent the last few years in Thailand, now in Holland. Even spent some time training in Spain as well. So currently on a three-fight win streak, looking to make it four tonight. As for An Ying Wong, he is from China. More specifically, Xi'an, Mongolia. Loves the low kick and jabs, and he did appear on the Ultimate Fighter China a few years ago. In the United States, young basketball players and football players go to college to play sports. In China, they have giant universities, which are basically fight schools. And that's where Wong went. Yeah, and that school has 40,000 students. All right. Round two, we're scheduled for three here. This is a welterweight contest, 170 pounds. Wong versus Moreno. And we have open scoring tonight, and one judge scored it for the American, the other four giving it to Wong. Moreno started really well with the left kick, but as the round went on, we saw Wong pick it up. And yes, it is spelled W-A-N-G, but is pronounced Wong. It's hard to look at that word and say Wong, isn't it? It's very difficult. So, Joe, what's the strategy now for Omar Moreno, who had his moments in round one, but did take the best, the, I guess, from his perspective, took the worst strike of the fight? Well, he, he did so well with that left kick, and he started with that inside low kick, which is throwing Wong off. So he needs to throw that inside low kick and that left kick a lot more and keep up with those left straights. But he needs to be first. He can't let Wong start. You may see some empty seats in the crowd. In fact, I know you do. Tonight, it is sold out. Later tonight, several other bouts on the Super Fight Series show, as well as our Redemption pay-per-view. There's a left hand that connected for Moreno. Every ticket has been sold. Good body shot there for Moreno. Yeah, Moreno's corner must have told him to just wait and set up that left straight. Both guys really relying on their, their power straight hand. And Ying gets his right, Moreno his left. Good combination for Omar Moreno. And left and a right, and that back swing up. Yeah, he landed two good right hooks there. And they, they were cut down hooks, which were really nice. I like the way Moreno chases his prey down after he lands a shot. Good defense by Moreno, blocking that body shot with his elbows. Moreno now hitting the back leg of Wong. Good strategy. That back leg doesn't take a lot of low kicks. This conditioning is, is not there. So good strategy for fighters to, uh, when you're fighting north-south, to hit that back leg. Well, when you've got legs as long as Moreno does, why not? Of course, Thailand, the home of Muay Thai. That's where Moreno lived and trained for a long time. So he has honed those kicks. And Muay Thai kicks are actually scored better than punches. What Moreno needs to be careful with is he has to get really close to land that back leg. Or An Yang Wang Wang sorry, is trying to use that, that straight right as he comes in. So a better round two for Omar Moreno. We do have open scoring tonight. We'll see exactly where we stand. We do know that according to four or five judges, it was An Ying Wong that took round one. Let's see what they did for round two. All five giving it to Moreno. So we're all square coming into this third round. The winner of this round wins the fight. All right. 
There's a high kick again. Yeah, and he, he switched levels with it. Whoa. There's some spectacular offense, or at least an attempt at it. Long with a high kick of his own. Well, Joe, what's the game plan here for Wong in round three? He needs to win it. Well, he's got to keep throwing his kicks. Can't just rely on his right hand. I find that he's mixed some good high kicks. Maybe go to the legs, body. Mix levels with his kick. Not just rely on that right hand. Moreno going right back to that back leg. Another high kick landed. Yeah, the way he set it up, he threw four or five back leg attacks and then mixed high. That's what we saw from Koprovlenski as well. Hard to believe Moreno is just 21 years old. There's a push kick. That will not be ruled a knockdown. It still takes a lot of energy to get him off the canvas. Nice high kick from Moreno, followed by some good punches. After a slow start, Moreno has found his form for sure. Right hand from Wong lands. It seems like Wong would love to just sit in the pocket and exchange punches, but Moreno won't do it. There's a kick, and those low kicks are really starting to take a toll as Wong's having trouble keeping his balance, and Moreno's closing in for the kill here. Yeah, what he's trying to do is he's trying to keep that back leg behind him, Wong, so, so there Moreno can't get a full shin on that leg. From this angle, we can see just above the low part of the shorts of Wong, and there's a lot of redness there. He will be feeling that tomorrow and for a few days afterwards. And he keeps pivoting to his left, trying to keep that right leg of Wong behind him. He'd almost probably like to switch to southpaw position. Yeah, that's why a lot of fighters should practice both sides. Ten seconds to go. So a good fight, especially for Omar Moreno, who closed strong after losing round one. Yeah, very impressive the way he used his left, left kick, just like he's told us in our pre-fight interviews. So good strategy at mixing levels. Landed some good inside low kicks in the beginning, hit the body, landed some good head kicks. Well done. Who will win their glory debut? That answer when we return to Rotterdam. We are back to Rotterdam in the Netherlands, and Omar Moreno in his glory debut closed strong. Yeah, he looked well, especially coming back from this first round from En, en Ying Wang. That second round is where we saw Moreno pick it up, landing some good punch kick combinations. A lot of times following with that left knee, which landed a few times. And then in the third round, we saw really Moreno trying to attack that back leg. Landed it really well, started doing damage with it, but couldn't get the finish, but great performance overall. So the man who was born in Chicago but lives and trains in Amsterdam has officially made the switch to kickboxing, and he did pretty well, as these statistics show. He threw 164 strikes and landed more than Wong did, and he went downstairs a lot. Yeah, and it was all from the low kicks, hitting the back leg, where you saw An Ying Wong really try to use his punches to the body. Let's go back into the ring, and Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. Four of our judges seated ringside score at 29-28. The fifth and final judge sees at 30-27. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Omar Moreno! Joe, what does the future hold for this 21-year-old welterweight? Well, he's very talented, very tall. I think he needs to keep brushing up his Dutch-style kickboxing. He's in the right place to do it. He's training in Holland and has a good team behind him. So the future is very bright for Omar Moreno.